Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing? It's Ebony Amala, your Yankee in the South, trying something new here. Divine Ones only. Check in. Everybody check in, check in, check in, check in. So as you can see, I've started a podcast here and uh, we started back in May, I believe, in 2022. And we did it on um Inca FM. This will be uploading there to Inca FM as well. Um, but here we're trying something new here. Where I'm gonna do some video podcasting and um, getting things going on the road. So let's see how this works out. Welcome, welcome, welcome for those of you who've been with me from the day one. The one one stand up, represent. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so today's topic, guys. Today's topic. You know, I got my notes. So. Yeah, and you guys could see me when I stutter and everything. Don't laugh at me. Listen. Yeah. Uh, God is still working. It's my work in progress. But yeah, today's topic today, guys, is let them be a catalyst. Okay. Let them be a catalyst. Look, I'm already hyped. I got my rose quartz for anyone who wants to know what's in my hand. And my kitty cat is over there, too. So yeah, his little pink feet is just really just staring at me like he's sleeping. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. Y'all, excuse me, my mic don't keep still. Let them be a catalyst for your uh, your ascension, okay? Now, for those of y'all who have been in this game for a minute, y'all know that there's going to be people that are going to come into your life and be there for you and uh, be there for a time in your life where it's been hard, when it's been rough, and they see you going through a thing, and they're going to come in, and they come in, and they actually generally be, you know, they're very a good friend, they're great friends, they're great uh, accomplices in helping you to get over a thing, but after a while, they become the hard thing. They help you get through a hard thing, stick around a little bit too long, and they become that hard thing, okay? And when they become that hard thing, usually the hard things that we come through is like betrayal or um, abandonment, you know, different things that people will come to uh, your life and, uh, and, and just really just break or do things to try to break you. Okay, these are not people that we don't know. These are close people. Okay, now nobody who is not close to you are, is going to make an effect to anyone that you allowed into your private space and close to you to um, help grow with you and be someone to be, you know, to be a friend or a, a lover or a partner. You know, no one close to you, that close to you. Uh, you know, you don't want them, you, you know, it's not somebody you will you expect to betray you, but we all know that that happens. Okay. It happens. Okay. But God is saying, let them be a catalyst for your ascension. Let that be a council. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. All right. So it comes um, a time where, you know, that pain that you get from that, it's either going to make or break you. That pain that comes from the betrayal is either going to make or break you, okay? A lot of people, we get down, we get depressed and anxious because we don't want to trust anyone behind the betrayal. We get to those places and we can't get up. But God says get up because these people that came into your life, they expect you to come back to them when you when they leave they feel like okay if you have God in your life understand who you are when you remember who you are you have God in your life you have everything you need what's inside you it's inside you you have to tap in but because us as humans are taught to reach out externally for our power we oftentimes give our power to other people and a lot of times they abuse that power okay moms or dads no disrespect to anybody's mom or dad but we've had parents abuse their power you know you're tired you're coming in from work and they're like yeah now after you finish that motor lawn ma i just worked 15 hours so what so what but motor lawn 
everybody's been guilty of a power abuse, okay? You know, I'm going to raise my hand on that and say, yeah, it might have been me. I might have uh, had a couple of moments of power abuse, but God is correcting me in certain areas and aspects of my life for me to recognize, Beverly, you was wrong. You was dead wrong for that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was dead wrong for that one. But, you know, in growing that, in those things happening, I, 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 it, get, it makes me strong. It made me stronger. Uh, it made me have more endurance, having to work 15 hours and then mow the lawn. Um, you know, you take the silver lining of that and you take what it taught you and you turn it into power. You turn that pain into power, okay? So that's what God wants you to do. By letting them be a catalyst for your ascension, you're allowing them to give you, well, you're turning that pain that they gave you, you're turning that pain into a power, okay? You're allowing them to be a catalyst for your growth and ascension, okay? All right, let them be a catalyst for your, your ascension. All right, and a lot of times when you feel betrayed and they reject you and they choose somebody over you, especially if, if, if you are in a relationship and that person chooses someone else over you and you've given all that you could give, you've given your all, there's nothing like you, like, what am I doing wrong? Honey, it's not you, <laughs> it's them. Let them find their happiness wherever it is but allow that to be a catalyst for your ascension at the, at the end of the day, okay? Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. This is your time to glow up. This is the time, remember, we were talking about self-love, breakup version 101, self-love 101. This is the time to take that love that is unrequired and put it on yourself, okay? And as hard, as easy as it sounds, it's not easy at all because it's only then that you realize how much you neglected yourself who am i talking to it's only when you realize how much you neglected yourself when you don't have them to give the love that you're supposed to give to yourself to so who else is you going to give it to you're going to give it to you that's who you're going to give it to you're going to give it to yourself let them be a catalyst for your ascension it's time to glow up baby it's time to glow up. It's time to blow up. It's time to stand 10 toes in your divinity, divine ones. We are one to give people so much, so much because it's in our nature to love. It is in our nature to give. It is in our nature to have integrity. And if you're not, you don't have this nature, you may have to check to see if you're a divine one. Here, let me see. Yeah, that's me. All right, if that's you, thumbs up this video stop playing with me divine ones you know it's in our nature to want to make sure that our brother is taking care of our fellow brothers taking care of our fellow sisters taking care of that they're not suffering if i have it baby you got it too we have that type of heart we have those type of loving uh loving traits about us okay but now it's time Oh, how the pendulum swings, baby. You know, it goes one way, you have to go back the other. It is time to give that love to yourself. Let them be a catalyst. Hmm? Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. All right? Let them be a catalyst. Your, see, their rejection, you don't realize it at the time when it's happening, but their rejection is God's protection and a redirection for you their rejection is god's protection and redirection for you okay that means god needs you to go somewhere else if that door has closed don't knock on it don't don't bang on it don't try to kick it down you go another way god what god has for you what god has for you is for you and no man will pluck it from your hand no woman will pluck them from your hand what's yours no man can take away why does she pick him over me uh -huh. because that's not yours and what god has for you is for you and even if this person is your person until they can wake up to that realization god is going to have someone for you to make sure that that void he will leave no void filled in your heart you better walk in your divinity 
He will be no void filled, unfulfilled in your heart. He will need, he will leave no void fulfilled, unfulfilled in your heart. God is a void filler, a filler. When you find that everything that you need is inside of you and you learn how to tap in to that by meditating, by self-love, give yourself a, a, a spa day, okay? Extra long baths, spend a little bit of money on yourself, you know, buy your favorite video game if you're into that stuff. Buy you some new kicks, okay? Detail your car up. Make that baby look shit. You know, you ain't got all them car payments like me. I got car payments. Man, I got to have, I detail my car up. I vacuum it out. I wash it up because I got to have a reason to pay out, kick out all that money every month. To look at that thing every day and know I got to kick out all that money a month. You better look like I pay that much money. You got to look, look the par, look the par. Detail your car up. Cruise real slow through town. Listen. You are too divine to be on your hands and knees about somebody. You are a child of God. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. You better stick. You better stand 10 toes in who you are. Let them be a catalyst. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. Oh, yeah. Listen, it's going to hurt. If it don't hurt, it won't work. It's going to hurt. You can't turn the pain into power if it's not pain. It's going to hurt. But you let them be a catalyst for your ascension. God's protection. It's God's protection. Their rejection is God's protection or redirection. You never know what God is, the unseen things that God may be protecting you from from with when dealing with this person but later on usually god will reveal those things to you about the people that he protects you from it's not always rejection matter of fact it's never rejection you can never reject anything divine because god has too much you know how rich our father is <laughs> you better flip that dirt off your, your shoulder stop playing with me divine one Wipe it off, shake it off. Cry, yes, do the shadow work because the pain is going to come. But you can't stay down there too long. You're going to turn that pain into power. You're going to turn that pain to power and you're going to ascend and you're going to glow up and you're going to glow up to where they're going to come back and look back at you and be like, is that the person I just left? Let them, don't let them see you standing, be in the same spot you was the last time. They don't, they, you're never going to find a divine one in the same where you left them. You're never going to find a divine one where you left them. If you decide to leave somebody who is divine, maybe they're too much for you. Maybe they, oh, they're too good. Or this, this is too good to be true. It's scary. I'm not going to knock nobody who had to leave somebody because of an overwhelming experience. I'm not going to break your word i'm such a kid i'm not gonna break your balls about it okay that's a new york term i'm saying get a pass i'm not gonna break your balls about it but you're not gonna find that person where you left them if you decide to come back expect a glow up expect a oh my god yeah your eyes might get real big for a second yes you're not going to find us where you left us. You're not. Okay. Everybody has their um, time where they grow. Everyone has their way of growing, their moments where they grow. Everybody has their own rate of which they grow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what I need to say. The own growth rate. Go according to your own growth weight. So, but you're never going to be in the same spot. Get up, wipe. Let the dirt up, baby. Okay. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension. Okay. So a lot of these people, huh, let me tell you something, girl. Let me tell you something, guy. A lot of these people will expect them to need you. They expect, they expect you. No, they expect you to need them. Excuse me. They expect you to need them. 
a lot of times when they leave you and they leave you high, they sometimes they, they it's like ripping a, a rug out from me for your feet and just let watching you you just almost fall on your behind the way they just rip up and just abandon you just gone let the people do that yes they do yes there's going to be some witnesses to see this that know that people will leave you high and dry they won't look back baby they won't look back to check on your kids. They won't look back to check on you. They won't look back. They won't look back to see if you even survive. You might be going through something terrible, but God will put you in a place alone to let you know that all you need, he's there to supply. All you need is in him. He'll put you there. He'll put you there. See, they don't think that you're going to need them more than you're going to need God. But this is God's way of waking you up to understand who you are. You are a daughter. You are a son of the Most High God. These people are fools, okay? Oh, they won't know how foolish they are until they come back and see your glow up. They're going to know. You're going to be a walking, living, talking testimony of God when they come back. And they ask it big and they understand the glow up and the anointing that's already on your life. Let them be a catalyst for your ascension, okay? They think they're going to, they think, listen, when they leave you, they want you to reach out. They think you're going to reach out to them before you reach out to God. And sometimes we do. Sometimes we be like, oh my God, what happened? I put so much time, love, and, and faith in you. Where'd you go? What am I going to do? This is your time of, of, of awakening to know who you are. You never know how strong you are until you have to be. And this is one of those moments. They fools, baby. But see, here's the thing. This is where God is going to prove himself, not only to your haters, but he's going to prove himself to you, baby. He's going to show up and show out in your life. He's going to show up. People going to try to figure out what's, what, you not there. She didn't mess up. She didn't fall. She's still making them payments. She still got her bills paid. He still, he still at that good job. He still, oh, he got a better job. What? Well, that's a good, where that car come from? Oh, who? Who, who washing his clothes now? Who cooking his dinner now? Uh, hey, hey, hey. Listen, listen, listen. Shout out to Trin Genius. Listen. I love Trin. What's up, Trin? Shout out to him. Where they do that at? Uh-huh. Yeah. This is the time where they're going to have to watch God do their thing here the same people that sit there and and saw you suffering and crying and sat there and watched and did nothing they watched you cry they got to keep that same energy to watch you eat they watched you cry now they gotta watch you eat because god is about to set a table before you in the presence of these enemies god is about to set this table up baby and all that energy they put in watching you to see if you was gonna fall watch you to see if all of their spell work worked watching you to see if all the bad they wished on you or all the bad things they sent your way was working them same eyes and that same eager eager uh that eagerness to see me fall or to see you fall they gotta sit down and they gonna watch you eat they gotta sit down and watch you eat let them be a catalyst for your ascension you get down and you do your prayer baby you tap into who you are and know that everything that you need is inside of you it's inside of you tap in Tap in, tap into the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you, child of God. Divine one, tap in, tap in. You pull your Bible out, you read your, you read your Psalms, Psalms 91. You hit the, listen, life and death is in the power of your mouth and your tongue. 
you are equipped with some of the most powerful the most powerful remedies on the planet the, the most powerful book on the planet you're equipped with the holy scriptures you better pull that bible out full of power baby and put it to work you better put it to work put it to work because it seems like you got to understand if you're a divine one like me when they are around you you lighten their load what load that energetic load because they're in a lower vibration then you help them change their perspective in life because you're in a, they're there you, you're like a good luck charm you're like a good luck charm you're comfortable they get so comfortable too they get complacent and then when the complacency come here comes the nonsense here comes the bs yeah but this is all to teach everyone a lesson and what lesson is that to know who god is <laughs> to know who God is and how he operates and how you're not going look here mm. let them be a catalyst for your ascension okay I'm not going to keep this thing too long but yeah this is Ebony Amara once again a Yankee in the South talking to some divine ones to let them um, you know to encourage you today I hope this word was an encouraging word for you uh, this is my first time doing the podcast at home. I, like I said, guys, I am very camera shy. I really don't do this, but I did this for you. So you can get to know me. Um, yeah, guy was pretty much saying to me also, let them know the real you. Let them know the real you. And, you know, here it is. You see what you, what you see. Here you go. That's what you get. Ebony Amar here. Yankee in the South. Hope this helps someone. And you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. Tap in, hit that like, share, and subscribe. You know I'm out here trying to make everybody happy, all right? Y'all have a good one. Later.